Hello everyone and thank you for watching. I am Rafi from Executive Clock Gallery. I just wanted to make a short video of the Seth Thomas 113 movement. So here I have it all apart. It's kind of messy but just wanted to go over it quickly. Here is one that's already finished. This is the 113 with the single click. And this is the 113A with double clicks. These are already finished and are testing. Here's another one, 113A. So, just wanted to go over this, a few of these things. I like assembling it like this versus putting the rear plate down first and assembling it that way. You could do it that way if you like, it's not wrong. Um, now, there is a difference between these screws. These screws here go for the ratchet uh, and the clicks that bridge up front. This one here, right here. These these six screws: one, two, three, four, and five and six. And then um, these really long screws here go on the front of the movement this post it holds this post in place the reason why is because there's this big bracket that is for your uh, side chime or silence and also your um, advanced and retarded uh, adjustment there so it also has this um, leveling f this feet for the uh, attaches to the front and these screws here uh, go on various places so I just wanted to uh, share with you what I do after I clean it when I start assembling I put these posts now there's a difference between these posts and these posts this one goes on the bottom of the movement there those two holes on the bottom they're basically used to um, put your hold on a screw like so okay so now and there's also these really flat screws short flat screws so I put these four posts on first and uh, these two get the flat those two small flat screws there these top ones get the long screws and I on the rear plate, I assemble these posts. These posts are different. They're longer, they're for the music wheel and also for the hammers. And um, these these three basically. So that gets threaded on in the middle and there's a nut and the screws on the inside. So I put this on first. It's very critical you do that first. Now, here we have an empty plate. I'm trying to show you how I do it. So here, here's your strike gear. First gear. Your center wheel. Your time train first gear. This one, is, this one is the chime chime train first gear. Okay. Strike. Star wheel. And escape gear. There's difference between these um, 
flywheels or these fans, these governors. The bigger one here is for the chime and the thinner one is for your strike. Oh, once you get that on. Here's another video of it. Shot at it. Here's your time train, your time train, and your strike train. No. Back to assembling. You should have a few tools. Pivot locator. And plate spreading tool. You can gently start putting screws on, hold it on. I'm just lining up all the pivots. Be careful when you do this. You don't apply too much pressure to the pivots gonna okay, start all over again here there it is now I'm putting it on Oh, there's one thing that you should not forget this guy which I forgot to put on it's for the strike it's the strike uh, lever that lifts up the strike so it just goes on there since it's loose it's easy to get to so gently apply pressure line up the critical pivots and it just falls in place Easier said than done. Okay. Again, I'm not forcing the pivots, I'm just gently moving them, like that, like that, that's 
That's it. It's all in together. Oh, it just came apart. Oh. Okay. Once it's in, make sure you put these screws on. The short screws with the thick head. I uh, don't know the name for it, but you gotta just put these screws on for now and then you can turn them around and use the right ones. So. Okay, just finger tight for now. Just wanna show you. You want to turn the, the the great wheel, see if that turns. And here's your chime train. So that's good. It's good news. Now that's how you assemble the gears. The rest is a piece of cake. These go on the front, very self-explanatory. Those six screws, these small six screws here. And uh, these four, these screws, these four screws here, go over here. And this recessed holes right there, one, two, three, and four. So these posts go on the bottom. I'm not gonna assemble it right now, just showing you. They go like so. And the rest of the stuff, the hammers, line up there with the washers in between. So, well, this is the most critical part. Once you get this part assembled, the rest will be easy. See. Music wheel goes there, and the hammers go there. Okay. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll make some more videos, I promise. And um, we can all learn from this. Thank you.